Picture this, you have a big project due tomorrow, but instead of starting on it, you decide to binge watch your favorite TV show. Sound familiar? That's procrastination. Now don't get me wrong, we've all been there. The allure of the snooze button, the siren song of social media, the addictive pull of that one TV show you just can't get enough of. Procrastination, my friends, is the silent saboteur of success, the unseen obstacle on our path to personal development. It's a common issue, so common, in fact, that it's almost a universal experience. Yet, it's often overlooked, brushed aside with a sheepish shrug and a laugh. Oh, I'm just a procrastinator, we say, as if it's an endearing quirk, not a habit that hinders our growth. Imagine a world where the I'll do it tomorrow mantra doesn't exist, where you take on tasks head on, not shuffling them to the bottom of a never ending to do list. Sounds pretty good, right? But here's the catch. Breaking the chains of procrastination isn't as easy as it sounds. Let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here. The procrastination paradox, if you will. We procrastinate to avoid discomfort, to delay the inevitable stress that comes with tackling a task. Yet in the process, we end up creating more stress for ourselves. The deadline looms closer, the task grows larger, and our anxiety levels skyrocket. Quite the paradox, isn't it? And here's the kicker. Procrastination doesn't just affect our productivity. It impacts our self-esteem, our motivation levels, and our overall personal development. Each time we put off a task, we're sending ourselves a subtle message, I can't handle this. And that, my friends, is a narrative we need to change. Procrastination might seem like a harmless habit, but it can hinder your personal growth and success. So let's explore this further, shall we? Let's dive deep into the impact of procrastination and more importantly, how to overcome it. Because remember, the first step to change is awareness. And we're about to get very aware, indeed. So, you've put off that project again. No big deal, right? Wrong. Procrastination has more impact than you might think. Let's delve into the less obvious consequences. Procrastination often leads to stress, and not the good kind. It's the kind that keeps you up at night, gnawing at your peace of mind because that project you've pushed aside is still looming in the shadows. It's a continuous cycle of anxiety that can take a toll on your mental and physical health. And what about the quality of your work? When you're constantly racing against the clock, it's difficult to produce your best work. Your ideas, creativity, and overall performance suffer, which can lead to missed opportunities. Then, there's the impact on personal growth. Every time you procrastinate, you're not just delaying a task, you're delaying your development. Each task is an opportunity to learn, improve, and progress. Procrastination isn't just about avoiding work, it's about avoiding growth. Now that we understand the problem, it's time for some solutions. Here's a simple three-step guide to overcome procrastination and kickstart your personal development. Step one is acknowledgement. This is where you recognize and accept your tendency to procrastinate. It's like stepping on a weighing scale after a month of holiday feasting. A little uncomfortable, maybe a bit surprising, but absolutely necessary. You can't start a journey without knowing your starting point, right? So it's time to be honest with yourself. When do you tend to procrastinate? Is it when you're overwhelmed or perhaps when you're bored? Once you've identified your procrastination triggers, you've already completed the first step. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Acknowledgement alone won't get us very far. It's like realizing you're lost in a forest but not doing anything about it. You wouldn't just stand there, would you? No, you'd want to find your way out. And that brings us to step two, planning. Planning is your roadmap out of the procrastination forest. It's about breaking down your tasks into manageable chunks and setting realistic goals. Imagine trying to eat an apple in one bite. It's not just difficult, it's downright impossible. But if you cut the apple into slices, it's an entirely different story. That's what planning does. It makes the impossible seem possible. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and your tasks won't be completed in one either. So take it slow. Set achievable targets and give yourself a pat on the back when you reach them. It's all about progress, not perfection. Now we've acknowledged our problem, we've planned our way out, what's next? Well, it's time for the most exciting part, execution. Execution is where the rubber meets the road, it's where plans turn into actions and goals transform into achievements. It's like finally biting into that sliced apple after carefully cutting it. But just like eating an apple, execution isn't always smooth sailing. You might encounter a few seeds along the way, maybe even a worm or two, but don't let that stop you. Remember, Every step you take is a step away from procrastination and a step closer to personal development. And here's a little secret. The path to success is lined with failures. But each failure is not a dead end. It's just a detour. 
So when you stumble, don't be disheartened. Instead, get up, dust yourself off, and keep going. Because the only real failure is not trying at all. So, there you have it. The three-step guide to overcoming procrastination. Acknowledgement, planning, and execution. Simple, right? But remember, simple doesn't mean easy. It's going to take time, effort, and a whole lot of patience. But trust me, it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, overcoming procrastination is not just about doing more. It's about doing things differently. It's about changing your mindset, altering your habits, and ultimately, transforming your life. And that, my friends, is the true power of personal development. Remember, the key to overcoming procrastination is not just about doing more, but doing things differently. So, what happens when you finally conquer procrastination? The benefits are more than just getting things done on time. When you push procrastination to the curb, it's like opening the door to a brand new world, a world where you're in control and everything is possible. First benefit you'll notice is an increase in productivity. You'll be amazed at how much you can accomplish when you stop putting things off. You'll find yourself completing tasks faster, meeting deadlines with ease, and having more time to pursue things you love. But the benefits don't stop there. Beating procrastination also leads to improved self-esteem. When you consistently meet your goals and deadlines, there's an incredible sense of accomplishment that comes along with it. You begin to believe in your abilities, and this newfound confidence reflects in everything you do. You start to view challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. And speaking of opportunities, overcoming procrastination can open doors to success you never knew existed. You start making progress in areas you've been struggling with, and this progress can lead to new opportunities. Whether it's a promotion at work, starting your own business, or simply becoming the best version of yourself, beating procrastination sets you on the path to achieving your dreams. To paint a clearer picture, let's look at some success stories. Take Sarah, for instance. She was always putting off starting her own business, but once she overcame procrastination, she was able to launch her startup, which is now a thriving enterprise. Or consider John, who kept delaying his fitness goals. Once he kicked procrastination to the curb, he not only achieved his fitness goals but also gained the confidence to run a marathon. These stories are just a glimpse into the potential that lies within you. Remember, beating procrastination isn't about getting things done on time. It's about taking control of your life, believing in your abilities, and seizing opportunities. Beating procrastination isn't just about productivity, it's about unlocking your potential. So, there you have it. A simple guide to overcoming procrastination and achieving more in your life. Imagine the possibilities when you start acting today, not tomorrow or next week, but right now. The power to change your life lies in your hands, and the first step is to just start. Now we're all in this together, to keep this conversation going, and to be part of a community that's committed to personal growth, subscribe to Online with Teresa. Join us as we navigate the path to a successful and fulfilling life, free of procrastination. Your journey towards personal development is not a solitary one. Share your progress, your challenges, and your victories. We're here to support each other, to learn from one another, and to celebrate our collective success. Don't put off your personal development any longer. Subscribe to Online with Teresa, and let's embark on this journey together. Remember, I'd love to hear from you, so please leave your comments below.